So a group of us were heading out aboard Valance's Connie to clear some Nine Tails from Ghost Hollow and recover some stolen goods. It was to be a day of pleasant surprises, but en route the discussion quickly turned to the upcoming Master Modes feature set to arrive with 3.23. Have you played much uh, Master Mode in Arena Commander? No. No. A tiny amount. Yeah. Why? Uh, do you have uh, do you have observations? No, I was I was hoping you guys had observations. <laughs> <laughs> For me, at least, ships are like about getting from A to B usually, so it's because I like being on foot more. Right. Um, so I don't really do a lot of the kind of ship combat. I, I'm not saying it won't make any difference because obviously it's going to make a huge difference to the game. My ship choices, like the Terrapin and the Herald, are all about like avo avoiding combat. Um, so yeah. maybe Master Mates will make that easier, I don't know. I defer to much more experienced people when it comes to like making judgments about the combat side of things. They've really made the forest a lot, lot thicker. Yeah. We'd be hopping on foot to engage the Nine Tails in combat. This was to complete a mission, asking us to clear the area. Then we'd be switching over to a second mission that we'd already accepted to recover three packages from the site. The AI in Star Citizen can vary considerably depending on the server performance on the day you are playing. But from our observations in the past, there are some other aspects of AI limitations that are not tied to server performance, like AI detection range, that seem to have undergone big improvements since we last checked in on it. Got two here, packages and uh, kill. Kills and packages, yeah. Wh which ones do you guys have up? Packages uh, up right now. Alright, I'm gonna pull a kill just so we have a count. Good idea, yeah. yeah. Underneath the engines, even. 16 of 18, so you guys got two already. Crossing, sorry, my fault, my fault. I saw, I saw, I saw. 11 o'clock. Yeah, they're shooting at you and they're Ooh, yep. past me. On the, on the structure as well. Shots from high, 11 o'clock. Shots were coming in from the far left as well. Okay, I gotta use my pick quick. Yes, sir. Yep, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna push over to that left flank and try and take the thing down who's engaging from the flank. I think I got the dude on the left. Nope. Disregard. Damn, this is intense. <laughs> tier 3 arm, um, tier 3 chest. I think that dude on the left is down. Yeah, I got the one uh, second level. It took a lot of freaking shots. Yes, it did. Good work flanking around. Oh, Jesus. So the enemy was seemingly nice and responsive today, and one thing we really like to see is enemy that responds quickly and can surprise you, keeping things exciting. This is how it should feel. The first you know of enemy is when they're shooting at you. I got yep. them on lower level. Well, there's usually some up on that bridge. I don't see any right now. Oh, 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 oh. I'm I'm down. Yep. Yep. Heading your way. Vlas was down, but the journey to him was not straightforward. Coming from the opposite side of the right. Oh, oh. I think he's on the tower. Oh, shit. Dude in the open here. I think I just got took a bunch of fire from behind as well. Oh, oh my god. I'm, move, I'm heading towards you guys now. I've got, I've got my everything. Guy. Oh, fuck. There's a guy in the tower. He's very active. Yeah. Damn it, I'm done 6% health. <laughs> I've used up my <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna take the dude out in the tower and I'll push over to you. But someone hiding on the bridge had other ideas. Shot from behind on the bridge. Oh no, I'm down. Oh my god. That was very intense. Okay, I'm down. Luckily, by now, Vlas is back on his feet and him and Yarak were heading my way. 
Well, good news is I got the guy in the tower, so and good. now I got eliminated targets on my hut. Empty med pens were a slight inconvenience, but nothing too taxing. It doesn't drop the last empty one, it feels like. So you end up with, like, thank you. You, you end up with one, but it is, like, empty. Not very useful. <laughs> One thing we were seeing a lot of was engagements beyond the 50 meters limit that we used to observe all of the time. Oh, he's shooting back. <laughs> he's down. Yeah, I, I, this is so much better, isn't it? When, they, when they're yeah. this responsive and they, sh they engage from this far uh, and they suppress and it's so much better. The last few targets of the mission are highlighted. Way out there. I think he might be at the like little the little garage, Ursa yeah. garage. Yeah. yeah. It looks like their range might be seventy because that, that guy should be engaging us. I, I got shot by somebody who was seventy-five a minute ago. Yeah, somewhere in there. Yeah. Around that area. But I I I would guess hundred meters, but um. I would love it. Yeah. We haven't haven't tested it. I'm already in, yeah. Okay, cool, cool. Sorry. <laughs> good. No, you're good. Vlaz would complete the mission, allowing us to switch over to being box collectors. I thought it did. Good bit. Alright, package time. <laughs> <laughs> I got a tier 2 and a tier 3 from that. Oh my god. I, uh, me too. I've got two tier 2s, an arm and a tier 2 chest. I feel like we should have bought a character at this point. <laughs> <laughs> that was fun. That was way more fun than I was expecting. Well, the other interesting thing is I have a tier 2 chest wound, but it's not as affecting me as much as I would have thought. Oh, you're just gonna... Okay, cool. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah. As we made our way back to the Connie, we'd be joined by more players on Discord, including players that are completely new to the game. Uh, Storm, are you on the server? Uh, uh sorry, what was that? Are you on the server? Are you coming in? Uh, sure, I'll join you. Uh, full disclosure, I'm like brand new. I just bought <laughs> okay, the game cool. this week. That's so. cool. I mean, that's, that's actually, that's probably good. It means we can show you some, some cool stuff. And this server at the minute, seems to be working really well because that ghost hollow was uh, amazing actually <laughs> i'm just in quantum I'm, I'm in quantum here, so in a few minutes. oh that's cool yeah that'll give us time to get to the package we were heading off to deliver the three boxes that we'd recovered there were other outposts and villages that we visited along the way and we'll see those in another video but as we moved around i was starting to come around to the appeal of the connie once again Oh man, I parked on them. Uh, you know what? Edge. This is really, really making me want to get a Connie again because I've forgotten how much. The Connie is arguably not as, not as cool as the Corsair. Like the Corsair is cooler, and for adventuring and role playing and stuff, yeah. it's more fun. But the Connie is just so much more capable. Like uh, they they gave it the uh, personal uh, storage and everything. I mean, maybe that would make it better. I don't know how you like did that. They'd have to do a pretty big overhaul, though, right? Like, uh, oh yeah. If you were, if you wanted to go the full hog and have like individual rooms for the crew, that would take more more work for sure. However, due to some technical problems with Vlad's Connie being unable to rearm or refuel right now, we'd be switching ships and getting picked up by Ryusu in a Karak. Vlaz, Yarak and myself had injuries from the Ghost Hollow fight, so the Medway was our first destination. Hell yeah. I was like, why is everybody at the back of the ship? And I was like, alright. Oh, <laughs> They're all fixing their injuries. Okay, right. We got another... An, there's another Ghost Hollow, um, yeah. which... Let's do it because that was really fun. Let's, let's go and do another one. There's another collection from Ghost Hollow as well. Nice. 
so we were heading in to carry out the same two missions again. While we were doing this, we were also running the evict illegal occupants missions at the new villages in the game, and the AI at the villages were behaving similar, but different in some key ways. We'll look at that a little later on, but for now, I just wanted to see if we would get a similarly intense fight at Ghost Hollow, or if we'd just been lucky on the first run. A couple hundred years. As we approached the wreck, the enemy response was quite sharp. Oh, Yep, 11 o'clock, he's still up, he's still up. Oh, and 12 o'clock as well. 12 o'clock as well. Damn! Okay, target 12 is down. I'm gonna use a med pen real quick. Sweet. Yeah. I mean, the best part about this Ghost Hollow is that they have cover, and, and it's, it's yeah. difficult to find them. Do you nice see him? Do you see him up there on the bridge? I saw oh. a flashlight. Ooh. One fire okay. Yeah, I see him. I see him. He's not done yet. Okay, I'm living. Something's shooting me. I don't know how the shooting is. Freaking... Yeah, I don't think this uh, piece of debris that's in front of us is as solid as you and I think it is. <laughs> yeah, that's probably one of the problems. Oh, oh, he's up outside. top. I made my way into the first section of the wreck while Blaz was heading for the aft section. Yeah. Voice is off to my left now. Oh. You, you got a tier one injury, damn. Yeah, I got too much stuff. Okay. <laughs> I think the front is clear. Or the upper floor of the front is clear. Although I... Okay, I think there's someone above though on the roof, I think. The roof would give a good vantage point for the rest of the wreck. If you bring the mission up now, there will be like markers on the enemy. Oh, I got me. I'm in oh no, okay, I'm on my two guys. The descent though was not ideal. Oh, that was a bigger fall than I was coping. I had him for now, Vaz. Marking the enemy at the end of a mission like this is practical in that it can help players find the remaining stragglers quickly, but it definitely deflates the tension a little bit. in the tower as well. There we go, it's done. <laughs> oh gosh. Now we can track the delivery mission and we can get those boxes. And once again, it was time to go pick up some boxes. Can't see anything now. Look at Flas hobbling around. Yeah, the tier one. I hear a ship. Uh. Mm. Little random box I found has an FS9 ammo. Yeah, get, get back up there. To the, get up, get to our ships. I don't know where that. Where I, that, I heard a ship, and then that's gone. All right, Blas, hear me out, brother. Could we just? drop you and then use a tractor beam to carry you back to the ship? I'm still wheezing like crazy. You're running faster than my character. My character doesn't have any injuries. <laughs> I 
again these two encounters at Ghost Hollow fix two of our biggest criticisms of the enemy AI in outdoor locations, their responsiveness and the maximum sight range of the enemy AI. Their responsiveness is still not perfect, but will hopefully improve drastically after we get server meshing. Their range though, well that was a nice surprise. Extensive testing at the Caterpillar Rex sites last year pretty much confirmed that AI could only detect players up to 50 meters away. Now longer range engagements seem to be common and a lot more fun, especially with the instant deaths being way less common and injuries factoring in way more now. The villages added to Houston and Microtech are home to a new version of the Evict Illegal Occupants mission but against the Dusters faction. On Microtech these missions feel a little out of place to me, maybe defending the villages from outside attackers would fit better. If reinforcement shuttles could be made to work that is I guess, but I think because the Duster faction is not inherently hostile to players like the Ninetales faction is, that there is a significant delay in the AI waking up to being under attack on these missions, making the whole experience kind of wooden as the AI wakes up. Seems like every ship with a little landing like back rail, I always manage to park in a way that I can't get back on. <laughs> You never double check until you have to hop back in, and then it's yeah. too late. Oops. Oh gosh. Oh, they can shoot through that. Yeah, there's definitely some flipping problems with this. <laughs> Ouch. Oh, tough for that. Wait, is that like a hostile fire or friendly? This isn't are you, fair. Are you being shot at or are you shooting? Shooting. Okay. Still, we'd get another confirmation of the range AI can see players now with a 98 meter engagement. Shots from somewhere. From up ahead, yeah. Wow, look at look at that range. That's a long range, now. yeah. Jeez. Use my pen. I'm at 78 percent health, but I don't have it. Let's switch oh, the arc light. The, uh... I think I'm game with the arc light. Holy What's shit! This dude's accurate. <laughs> this dude is super accurate. I'm gonna push rounds to the uh, left. That was, uh, like, verifiable because we got the marker, like, way longer range than they would have. You remember when we were testing before and it was, like, 50 meters away and they would just not even be able to see you? Yeah. Now it's like, damn, they can engage from a hell of a distance away. These guys had an S-71, uh, by the way, so maybe that's what that guy has. Maybe. I oh, know, he's throwing bursts. What are you guys running right now? Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt. Oh, no, no, we're just doing, um... The illegal occupant missions on Microtech. Trick your body into thinking that it's, <laughs> it's fine. Uh, the Adjuster location suffered from the same kind of wake up period for AI. Now, I personally think that if you land nearby an allowed spaceship, they should maybe already be somewhat alert. Or, uh, I think with Cyrus, we were just talking about like how it would be great if they were soft death, soft death was a thing and, and hard death was more rare. We've taken out like three, and uh, I don't know if they shot back or not. Okay. We're going up. There's some of the. Oh god, oh god. Oh, there's like a whole bunch of them. Right in the head. Okay. Oh, I see it. Up there. Wow, who's the one with the handgun? I'll show you. Well. On the roof, see, it's on the roof, yeah, but I guess hang in. This guy's actually. Come on, yeah. There he's down. Jeez. Right, where are you? <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know if you can see it or not, but like for me, that marker is just there now. Oh. oh. That's not to say the Ninetales are always reacting immediately either. This is, after all, dependent on server performance on the day that you are playing. But we still get our best moments from these Ninetale spots. 
Do you remember that time when a Legolas uh, slid down the side of the I hate you. No more guys in the tower. I hate you. <laughs> yeah, there's two, there's two up there. Yeah, the guy, this is, this little dude up there. I've landed some hits, but I think he's still, he's still up. Yeah, so there's the guy in the scrap part, and then on top of the concrete, there's the yard. They're both shooting at yard. Oh, oh somebody just brained the guy on the roof. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm in the turret right now. Moving up. Careful, Katie, because there, there's two guys up there. So there's a guy up top, and then there's also three down below yard. Be really careful, man. Right, right, yeah. Fuck Oh, yeah, I see him. Oh, yep. Ooh, they're not happy to see me there. <laughs> Glasses on some maneuvers. Number two. Okay, the guy in the tower is down. Yeah, down, yeah, down. Yeah, there's people right around the corner. Right there. Right there. Right there. Right there. I'm just watching the yard. <laughs> okay. Oh, that guy right, folded dead. like a lawn chair. Yeah, that other outpost over there doesn't look like it, uh, it has anything in it. So, progress is definitely being made on FPS enemy AI, and to beat a dead horse, server meshing should help with the reaction side of things, both for combat AI, but also for general AI fixing things like NPCs standing on chairs. 3.23 is bringing along with it another massive source of in-game missions, the distribution centers, and I am really looking forward to see if any AI improvements come along with these new locations. As always, I want to thank all of you at home for watching, and all of our amazing patrons who you can see on screen right now and in this video i would especially like to thank new patrons morpheus 21 isaac zollers michael wilson and reva who all recently became backers of the channel over on patreon thank you all for choosing to support the channel especially during quiet times like now where i can only get one to two videos out a week that schedule is set to return back to normal in april so thank god we are about halfway through right now and i just want to thank all of you for supporting the channel through a time like this we'll be back with more from star citizen very soon